Judges chapter 16, verse 20. And she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself. And he wits not that the Lord was departed from him. Here we see Samson, an individual giving great deliverance to the children of Israel from the Philistines. The story of Samson is found in the book of Judges, chapter 13 through chapter 16. Samson is found in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, of the Hall of Faith. Samson was a, a Nazarite from his youth, according to Numbers, chapter 6. These individuals were consecrated, separated for the service of the Lord. They would abstain from strong drink, and they would allow their hair to grow. And when Samson would shake himself, he would feel the locks of the hair, reminding him of the covenant he had between him and the Lord, and the Holy Spirit would fall upon him, giving him supernatural anointing to do great deeds for the service of the Lord. Samson, however, had some faults. Samson had a gambling problem. Samson desired to have a wardrobe for one change of garment for each day of the month. Samson did not respect his parents. Samson liked to take risks. Samson had a lust problem. Samson saw women and desired them. Samson lusted after women and obtained them. Samson chose a woman from the enemy, not from God. And this woman, Delilah, seduced him. And Samson chose Delilah over the Lord by giving her the secret of his great strength. And as she caused him to yield. She gave him a haircut that he would never forget. And when Samson was told that the Philistines were coming to apprehend him, he shook himself as he always does. He would feel the locks of the hair reminding him of the covenant he had between him and the Lord. But the scripture states that the Lord had departed from him. Yes, it is true that the Lord will never leave us nor forsake us. But when we choose to walk away from the Lord, the Lord is obliged to break fellowship with us and depart for a season. Samson chose Delilah over the Lord. And there are individuals today who believe that the Lord is with them, yet they dibble and dabble in sin, take risks involving themselves in relationships they know they should not be involved in, involving themselves in behavior they know they should not be involved in, and yet they pray, they praise, they worship, they preach, not knowing that the Lord has departed from them. We encourage individuals to repent and to return to the Lord. For the scripture states in the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 15, verse number 2, The Lord is with you while ye be with him. And if ye seek him, he will be found of you. But if ye forsake him, he will forsake you. Thank you for listening to the teaching ministry of Life Changing Ministries International with Dr. E.K.D. Quick. For more information, log on to our website at lifechangingministries.com.